day four of the season kickoff coverage, and everyone in the UP has a lot of reasons to be excited about the upcoming season. I mean, who wouldn't be excited? A full slate of games, fans back in the sands, and a chance for the UP to show the rest of the Michigan what it's all about. So let's keep the hype train rolling with the Marquette Redmen. The Redmen are coming off another impressive season, going 5-1 and one throughout the regular season, averaging 27 points per game and holding opponents to 15 points per game. The Redmen are looking to make the playoffs for the third straight year, led by a stacked senior class featuring players like quarterback Austin Riddle, wide receiver Justin Jermu, and safety Desmond Mullen. The seniors, needless to say, are confident that the team has all the pieces for a deep playoff run together since middle school and we are a really tight-knit kind of group and we've known each other for a long time and we've just clicked together. We're great friends on and off the field so I think that will help us with a deep run in the playoffs. We got so much depth like you look at our team like we got everyone says we got three like all state returning players or all state mentions you know what I mean but we have way more depth than that even like we got so much receiver depth, just so much skill player depth, and we got our four starting linemen coming back from last year. The Redmen are led by coach Eric Mason, who has 24 years of coaching experience and going into his 12th year of coaching at Marquette. The team has done nothing but improve under coach Mason, but have been bounced from the playoffs the last two years by Muskegon. While the team remains focused just going 1-0 and every week, they know that Muskegon will be waiting for them, and they'll be ready. Having played them the last two years, um, I think last year especially, they understood that for the first part of that game and even at the second half of that game, we were in it and competitive with them. Uh, they had a second quarter that just buried us, and unfortunately we couldn't crawl out of that hole. But I, you know, I think they know now. I think last year we were pretty close. And then this year, we just have a really great group of guys on both sides of the ball. Uh, we got Austin coming back for his third year, got great wide receivers, great line. So I just think it's possible this year. Now, like the team, we aren't going to look that far ahead. Instead, we got the first five for the Redmen. They got a couple downstate teams to start the season with the Alpena Wildcats coming up to Marquette for the opener before going on the road to take on Travis City Central. Then it's back in the UP for the next three games as they head to Eski to take on the Eskimos, then host the Flivers, which will probably be one of the, be the best games of the year, and then head out to take on Gladstone. For the full Redmen schedule, check out our website, abc10up.com. And be sure to tune in tomorrow with Dave Sasewski as he previews the Houghton Gremlins. Thank you for watching ABC 10 News on YouTube. For the latest Upper Peninsula news, weather, and sports, be sure to subscribe to our channel and like us on our Facebook page.